All right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to Mastermind session number five. Today's session is going to be very interesting, and I'm saying that because all of us, either we are working in corporate or we are trying to be an entrepreneur or we are trying to go all out, and there is one thing which is really common to all of us. And and when I was thinking about planning this topic, I thought this probably would be something that. all of us do we may not be speaking every day we may not be writing every day we may not be going all out and speaking but this is something which is very very relevant to all of us and i'm not going to make it as a game because i already mentioned that today we are going to discuss about power points exactly power point how can you improve your power point how can you use provided you are not using corporate template provided you don't have that restriction if you had all the free hand and if you had the liberty of doing the way you want to do how can you make the best use of powerpoint at any time feel free to put it in the chat your perspective your thought your experiences and we can take it up but let me share my screen to show you how to create killer powerpoints i'm not talking about powerpoints that murder people but the powerpoints that have more impact on people so number 1 which already is there is one slide per minute what is one slide per minute now many a times we have powerpoints and we have all been into those meetings where either there are two less slides which is like it's only one slide going on for 13.5 minutes and we are like okay is that is that the only slide that person has and and, and is he going to move forward and there have been other times where there are 255 slides which will be covered in 15 minutes and we'll be like is this guy going to stop how how fast is this person moving so the thumb rule is you need to have one slide per minute you can have plus minus one or two slides but typically if you have one slide per minute what does that do it gives your audience ability to look at it if i put a slide now right now for example let me say this so if i put one slide per minute right now and this is the slide that i'm talking about if i'm talking about this for one minute it is not too much at the same time there is there is no hurry from from me i can actually go on and explain you can also take it easy and and that way the retention the retention of the audience of the data that you providing the retention of the graphics the retention of the point that you're covering actually increases a lot if it is 25 slides in one minute the person will be bogged down and he'll be like it's like uh, is like the fire hose put it into your mouth and you're not able to cover everything is falling out so you need to make sure that you have appropriate number of slide typically one or maximum two slides per minute you don't want to go too less or you don't want to go too more now there is also a point actually before that that you should also always look at do you really require slides or not many a times we don't even require slides because we are going to talk to our audience we are going to talk to people and if it is the slide is only saying that no welcome to this hi or anything like that you don't require slide for that you can very well communicate through your face and you can actually do that so that's point 1 before the one that one slide per minute any any insights any bad experiences you had um but hari to is If, if the person is not able to speak so then it is better to write whatever he uh, uh, i mean whatever he is going to present so about that he can he can he can uh, write in the uh, slide right so when the person is not able to speak there are different way we are going to uh, we are going to cover something called presenter view shortly which is for the presenter to refer the new uh, new version of powerpoints allowed to do that you can have presenter view and if you have two two slide i mean two screens or something else we're going to talk about that in our bonus section so that can help you give you notes but you don't need to put your notes out there in front of public so if you can present one slide 
and uh, not too many too many texts that's another point only one idea per slide is actually a better idea oh. ऐसी so mm -hmm. in that case would i be okay with 1 minute or i should give more than 1 or 3 minutes or anything like that yeah that's the average when you can give more than 1 minute there is no absolute rule that if you say 1 minute 1 second you are out there is not a game <laughs> but in general okay. rule is this is the a rule of average if you have a 20 minute presentation you don't want to have 120 slides or and other yeah. way around also if you have a 2 hour presentation you need to have at least 60 to 100 slides so that you're going in the flow and you are able to take people otherwise if you're talking about 20 slides in 2 hour presentation people will be bored down unless you have sub points and other things that we're going to cover later but you need to make sure that it is based on that appropriate time it's a it's a suggestion it's not the absolute fast rule that you have to do this only but but the way it is that no if you are, have the liberty as i said earlier and if you can do then do one slide per minute any any question anything no okay number 2 don't have a traffic jam in your slide what do i mean by that have you seen those slides where there are 35 lines of data and 75 images in there and you are left wondering what exactly am i supposed to say i'm going to actually share another slide which is one of my favorite one i got it uh, you don't you don't want to make your slide like this one where there is like the whole delhi traffic on the road and you have so many images so many texts and people are wondering like which one do i need to really worry about so oh. you need to have one useful data in one slide if that means that and that's uh, again uh, there's a misconception that you can't have more slide the concept the misconception is that you no know, uh you you should have all the things in one slide not required you can move the slide you can put one point emphasize one point at a time and then move on rather than having a traffic jam in your site and people are getting confused where is my vehicle where is my data so that's point number 2 very important point that when you are presenting online when you have a slide to share make sure that you are having no traffic jam you are having appropriate number of images appropriate text number 3 which is show one bullet at a time now you would have noticed in my presentation whenever i'm talking about something yeah yeah you mean Sorry, Dilip ji, your voice is breaking. Yes, Hari Tosh. Actually, I was saying, I uh, mean, you mean traffic in the sense, you mean uh, not more details or. Uh, uh i'm not sure i got your question yeah i was saying um, uh, uh, in the uh, slide there should not be any more uh, details or any more uh, uh, pictures right yeah if possible i mean i know there are corporate templates where you have to put that but if you're talking about effective presentation the principal said that no you don't need to have too many things you need to probably have one okay. or two things at a time no problem. Right. no problem and another thing which is the interesting point is the third point which is uh, show one bullet at a time and i'm going to give you example and we have used it extensively in our workshops which is uh, let me share the screen 
I'm talking about storytelling myth. What will I do? I show one bullet. I'm not showing all the seven bullets that I have. I'll show one bullet. I talk about that, that I don't have any story. That's a myth. I'll talk about that. I'll take the inputs and then I go on and then I show the next one. Then I talk about that. I don't have enough stories. Then I go on instead of showing you if I put like all the five at once, it won't be interesting, right? So you want to show one point if you have a bullet and you know if it is allowed, you want to show one bullet at a time so that you are having enough audience engagement, enough audience interest. So that's a third uh, PowerPoint tip uh, to kill our presentation that show one bullet at a time. And you might actually want to increase that font also, or you know, make others one as a little bit dark and, and not highlight it. Uh, but if even if you don't do that, show one bullet at a point, it becomes very clear for the audience at which point you're talking about. All right. Any questions? Okay. Evident to say so images or infographics instead of text. If you just, if I just tell you what are the different, uh, I'm trying to, okay, let me put another example for you, which will make this much clearer. So instead of telling you and writing it out that these are the five ways to wow your audience, if I show you this infographics, it makes sense, right? It is more easy for you to remember that, okay, you have to plan your stage, you have to connect through your eyes, have the eye content, you need to have pauses, you need to have gestures. Now, this what is this? This is basically an uh, image or infographic. So, if you can use images or infographics, there are a lot of places where I actually go on, see these are images instead of just saying use an, uh, instead of having a closed body language, use an open body language, I put an image. So all of these are images and text. So try to use as many images as possible instead of putting too much of text because we are literally bored of seeing text again and again. So we want to use images, infographics, more than the all the text in our PowerPoint. Okay. This was happened with me. Mm -hmm. This was happened with me when there was a one meeting, internal meeting. And instead of writing, uh, uh, instead of uh, pictures or any uh, uh, diagram, okay, I've written all this thing in the slide. So uh, the audience has told me, Ki, boss, you are telling the story or you are showing some presentation. Exactly. You want to tell your story through your voice. You want to keep exactly. one images, image of yes. one place you went and then you tell the story what happened at that place versus writing each and everything on the slides. Yes. And that will keep your audience yeah, awake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's move on to some bonus points. Uh, number one always have a dry run if possible. A lot of time we just go on and we are so much busy in preparing the slide till the last minute. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't go through the dry run. Uh, we don't go through the PPT. Uh, and, and then when we are presenting, we are not sure what's coming up next. So always try to have a dry run if possible so that you are able to see the flow. Uh, what is coming up after that? What is that? So that you are aware you should know what is there in the PowerPoint instead of revisiting every slide. Okay, I don't know what is coming next. We don't want to get into that. And the second one, which I was talking about is called presenter view if possible. So if you are having two screens or if you are having, uh, I have got a thing called, this is called headless. Uh, yeah, some device called headless, which acts as a virtual screen. Uh, 
So if you have got two screens, make best use of your uh, presenter view. And how does that look? Let me share my screen to show you. So we, for example, I have, this is the presenter view I'm sharing to you. And you see what is happening here is, uh, for you, it will be showing the full PowerPoint because it's on another screen, but I see, okay, after collect thoughts, I'm gonna have a questions here. After question, I'm gonna have a key message. So now I can plan my flow as per the uh, points coming up and you will be aware. And I can also have a lot of uh, notes inside of that so that I can actually mention about that when I'm talking about pauses and eye contact, these are the things that I have my internal. My audience will see something like this, which will, which will be like this. They will not be able to see what all the notes is there, what are the next slide coming up. But since I'm having dual screen, I'm using the presenter view. I can see what is coming up. I can see my notes and then it can help me prepare better in my presentation. So that's a bonus point for you when you're pre preparing for PowerPoint presentation that no, always do a dry run and have presenter view if possible for you and for your audience use the normal view, which is the presentation mode. So this is an inbuilt uh, uh, features in the uh, PowerPoint. This is inbuilt feature in PowerPoint, but you need to have either two screens, which is if you are having a projector connected to your laptop or you're having an additional screen, or you can get okay. uh, a, a tool uh, with this called headless uh, SDMI, which acts as a virtual screen. So I got it. This was like five, four, five pound in here in UK. And I found this so effective. So you can get that, uh, otherwise use additional screens, one screen for projecting another screen for you to view. So based on whatever you, so this is like advanced thing. If you have additional screen, if you have projector, you can use that pro presentation mode as well. Okay. And this virtual screen you are projecting to a wall or how you are projecting this virtual screen? So as I said, I've got this one, which is called uh, this is called uh, headless uh, chicken or something it's called. Uh, I put it in the HDMI port and what it does is it acts like a virtual screen connected to my uh, laptop. So laptop. I can then use it like an additional screen. So I can put things on that and I will have one as primary screen, another one as a you know, virtual screen, which is not nowhere because it will it will act like it is another screen, but it will not be there in that. But for system, there will be two screens. So now I can use that presentation mode and I can share with you the virtual screen. So that's how it works. So yeah, after... If, if, no, yes, actually, if yes, actually, if we connect the projector, then, uh, then it is uh, the feature, uh, that feature will automatically enable. If it is, if the, the projector is not there, then... Uh, Oh, the Haritosh is showing that uh, head pin, no? Yeah. So that will act as a uh, projector, something like Correct. that. Yeah. That's right. Right, uh, Haritosh? That's right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. So then the screen will be display on your monitor itself. It, your monitor will become the multi screen. So, yeah, my question is the same that you cannot project uh, yeah, yeah. on a wall. Yes. You cannot project. How do you project? You need a projector, right? Projector, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so it, it will not project on a wall. Project wall, yeah. It will, it will act like it is, uh, your computer will feel like it is connected to a projector. projector. In, in the end, there is nothing connected to this. There is no Wi Fi, right. there is no wire or anything. So, for the laptop, it will act like there is another screen. So, multi -screen then you can plant of your uh, presentation accordingly. So, your presentation mode is there and your presenter view is here and you can see and move out. So otherwise it's not, it, it, it is not possible in normal PPT that you can either okay. have presenter view or you can have the uh, yes. uh, slide mode. You can't have both simultaneously. So that, that, that's what it makes possible with this one. So uh, yes, yes, that you can do the experiment. If you have uh, the smart TV, you can right. connect uh, your smart TV with your laptop. Right? Yeah, so that that's true. Feel you can do that. That's right. That's right. Okay. Great. So those were topics. I think these are again less 
talk things about PowerPoint because we all talk a, a lot about communication, speaking, but we all have to do some or other PowerPoint presentation. And these small things of going through, uh, no, I'll share it once again, having on an average one slide per minute, not having any traffic jam, having appropriate text and showing one bullet at a time or one number at a time, one point at a time, using images, infographics over text. Uh, those are some key pointers for you to help in your presentation and also have, always having a dry run and using presenter view if possible so that you are able to give that amazing presentation. Any questions? Awesome. So I hope uh, you found this useful. We'll continue to have much more these bite-size uh, mastermind sessions in future as well. And I hope you are coming to the webinar, uh, public speaking webinar this Sunday. I hope to see some of you there. All right. Uh, any question before we close? Sure, Harito. Sure. Thank you. We we'll try to catch you. Your all is important session. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. All right. Thanks, everyone. Great seeing you all. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Harrison. Thank you.